Nouns, they took Mirage after a very tumultuous start, 16 to 8, and now they go to their own map pick of Vertigo. They start on the T side where they had the vast majority of their success against Noxious, their smooth success, I will say. And now Noxious try and defend this time on overpass. Nasi with a good opening kill on the CJ. Cypress has B-Wolves on a platter and Carson too before Stamina can finally respond. Cynic will pick up Vulcan on the lurk as Nasi closes the gap and domes one more. Make it two and three on the round. Noxious with the pistol and I hate to say it but Nouns just go way too slow on that B execute. They don't close the gap with the Glocks. They tried to go quick, they tried to go explosive, and you have to commend them for that, but they just couldn't close that gap. Specifically on the back of side, I believe it was Cypress. Just shoulder peeking, hitting crisp headshots with that USP. Very well done from Noxious. That is their first pistol round in the series. They lost both on Mirage, and that is the best start they could ask for on that number two. Keep in mind, we talked about it. Uh, ad nauseum in that number one. They were a far better T side team than CT side team. And they elected to start on the CT side here in that position. Maybe they have something planned for Vertigo Watch we'll to see. Things are smooth sailing thus far in round two. My downs got no bomb fight. They're on the full save now. And that is an Holy ace for Vulcan. $3,000 in just kill cash on the MP9. And Noxious continuing to look good in the early stages of map number two. You know, I think I'd rather have an MP9 ace than a knife kill. Yeah, it's, it's double the amount of money. It's double yeah. the amount of money. It's crazy how much the MP9 racks up cash so quickly. And, and now gives them an astute bonus going into round number three. It's AKs across the board for nouns, sure. But they lose a couple lives here. Could get out of hand rather quickly, especially with aggressive plays like this. Cypress finds one. Nouns, though, do well to bring it back to in response. The question is, will they expect this MP9 up close? He's gotten right by, right above Carson. And Carson's not looking for it. Camro... Fighting his time, he wants two, and he has it. One and two with the MP9, and he swings things right back into the favor of Noxious, leaving just Cynic and B-Wills to try and pick up the pieces for this T side. Noxious coming out the gates, sprinting on Vertigo, totally unexpected. Yeah, looking a lot more comfortable in the defense here on Vertigo, and we're seeing those glimmers of good aim that we saw from them back on Mirage. Really starting to be more consistent on Vertigo, too. Now, there's been a bit of time bought by Nouns as they stall out. They do have the bomb under their possession, and they have Cynic and Beewills alive, so... Two very good players to try and pull this 2v3 off. Smoke is going to telegraph what's going on, and Beewills is going to close up. The Molotov will not ward off Cynic, and... He could plant the bomb here, but he's going for the fights. So that could cost him. He does get the first on the camera. Vulcan gonna try and do the deed now. Does the damage and the kill on the B-Wheels. The bomb has been planted. Great nade, though, from Fame. And that'll be plenty of time for the defuse. The round picked up by Noxious. The bonus round as well. And Vulcan, with all that cash, can drop an op over to camera, who still has 6,900. The money is looking great for the CT side. And Nouns, not so much. No, they get the bomb plant, though. That means they can buy AKs across the board at the very least, and that's what they're going to go for. B-Wills going in for the Galil instead to get a little bit of extra utility on the board. Also, for those of you wondering, map number one, it did end early, as we saw with the Go TV issue, but it was a 16-8. Boggs was correct. It is just a, a technical issue associated with the update, so it's important to note. But Noxious, back to the rounds at hand, are looking incredibly good. Their aggressive style is... More suited to these early peaks, and we're seeing that exactly play out once more. Cynic caught over towards Abe all by his lonesome. No opportunity for a trade, and yet another early advantage going the way of the CTs here. Yep, just a dry peak towards ramp. Catches Cynic with nade in hand, and that's a free play and a free kill for Noxious. They will take every single day, every single minute, every single second. Flashbang goes high. Vulcan will not spot anything, I do believe. A lot of time to get anywhere at all, and the spam will actually get the job done. Actually, stamina to get the first. Carson tries to go over the wood wall, but he can't get by Vulcan. Still, the man advantage retained. Stamina's pick him over on the A site. Now, will Nouns rotate off of the back of that? No, they're still going to pressure towards stairs, similar to what they did the last round. It did not work for them last time. They're going to still try and go for it. 
Flash is cool, is well placed, really well placed, and CJ full wide can't get anything done. Stamina creeping up A, still has a player watching for him, gets the timing, and actually takes a little bit of damage. B Wills can get the bomb down at the very least. If this Molotov doesn't stop it, but yeah, nouns are floundering right now with really nowhere to go. Nouns looking like adjectives. A whole <laughs> lot of nothing with no substance behind it. Some flashy names, sure. Stamina is going to try to bail them out. He has done a lot. Ooh. B wheels as well. Finding a pair. Lines them up. That is an oversight from Camero Nasi. You cannot do that. You cannot give them the lineup like that. Give them an inch and they will take a mile. Nouns Esports are finally on the board. Nice little pullback from Stamina, then B-Wills on the finish, popping up and around. Really well done from Nouns to get their first on the board. Noxious actually on pistols for two players now. 5-7 and a Deagle for Camero and Nasi. M4A1 on the rest. There are two players without any utility. Fame tag very low. Flash is raining through. Stamina and Carson with quick kills coming forth. Are they aware of the fast playing potential? No, they're not. They can't even clear out sandbags. Vulcan has put the pin in two of them. They're still a side all player. They're all three on the side. Trade for Stamina. But it puts him in a 1v3. And now Camero has made the rotation to the ladder. Trying to come up from behind. Stamina will have to get on his horse. Make his way to the site before Camero can pop him in the back. Give him a certified Etu Brute moment. Good amount of time for Stamina to work with. And now he might be smelling the rat in the flank. But no. He goes side instead. And depending on the timing, he is dead! There he goes. A little bit late on the shots, but four rounds for Noxious and no bomb plan for Nouns. I mean, it's going to be a half buy for the T's side, and Noxious can breathe a sigh of relief. Yes, they can. They quickly clap back, and it's more of that scrappy kind of play style that we saw in the first half of map one. Not what we would have expected. Again, Noxious being on the CT side doesn't really lend itself to that scrappy, aggressive style. Yet here we are once again, and they are emerging with a rather sizable advantage now. Nouns on a half buy. They're going to go over something aggressive. I'm certain of it. Four tech nines and a deagle. They have to press in. That's going to be the play. Cypress trying to peek over. It's caught by the flash. He will get away. He does have support, but can they squawk this push? That's the question. Two kills for one in the early goings. Now it's going to continue to pressure forward, and Stamina finds the shot with the deagle, furthering the advantage now. Four versus two, and this is a smart play from Nouns. They stop things in its entirety. They begin to fall back. They look for that flank. Keep in mind that exactly such a play came through in the round prior. No such play currently, but it's still the smart play from Nouns. Now they can make Noxious get aggressive, force Noxious into uncomfortable situations. Another thing I think they've noticed too is the fact that Noxious are very quick with the rotations. And they're like, all right, we've drawn enough of the rotation. They're surely both here. So they can go back the other direction, get a free plant on B, post up. Now, the one thing is, Nouns will probably lack the free guns, but if they can get the round victory, I don't think they're going to care. They're not going to mind at all. And Noxious have full mind to save. It's a very good decision. They don't have much money. In fact, Camaro has zero dollars in the bank. Same with Vulcan. So saving is going to be huge for Noxious to balance the books. Nouns, the guns would just be nice little bonuses. Help their economy in the mid to short term. and They're just going to have to buy out. They do get another AK save, which is nice. But still going to have to get a couple of buys up here. Now for Noxious, they're going to half it around. They're not going to go all in. It's a wise policy. They've done some damage, especially Fame back on Mirage with the Deagle. Vulcan having his moment so far with that ace. Still leaving the scoreboard 11 kills. Downs, though. A prime opportunity to close the gap. Bring this one a lot closer. And try and take a lead on this T-side. Turn a new leaf, perhaps, for this T-side, much like they did in match number one. This is being watched for by the Deagle, but it won't connect. Good shot from Carson. Very quick shot on the Cypress. And now, he'll rapidly scale forward. A nice shot onto the second. Carson's beginning to wake up. He's one of the players who kind of points it out as being a rather quiet 
for this noun squad good to see him coming alive on map number two he could be exactly the player to bring them back into this one Just covering all their bases dutifully as they should a little bit worrisome on the lineup there but they get the kill they don't get exploited these just vulcan and camera one of those two saved rifles in camera's hands but at this point he should be more inclined to save it for the following as well should be a third for now for four nouns yeah vulcan though could recover a rifle perhaps yes he does over towards middle now they're definitely going to save these if they can pull these into the round number eight we'll give them a very solid buy to try and prevent <laughs> nouns from tying it up stamina though catches one camera will he be allowed to save that's the question we're going to hunt him down but we'll make it expensive at the very least he'll find the first stamina taken down and it doesn't look like they're going to force the issue maybe cj will might not want to bring that a1s into the round following after all he will fall still a convincing installed victory for nouns though he will fall but who's your wonder wall nate that was another reference that again you know i won't get i know i'm just curious to see how many people watching will actually get that reference anyways noxious will probably be on pistols again yeah they're not going to invest too heavily here using that saved rifle of camera as their primary weapon everything else is side arms three deagles and a five seven camera rifle could get mopped up here stamina will see the top of the head as camera pops over cynic will trade out on the fame and camera's getting sprayed down by cj eventually falls gets put six feet under nouns two kills away from tying this up at four apiece a swift bit of retribution here from Nouns. But it's about the damage now for Noxious. How much can they do? How many headshots can they land? There's one of them from Cypress. Swinging out back, Cypress and has notched another. Make oh. it three! Hold up! Maybe Noxious can pull this one off. Poisonous fumes in the air as Nouns are struggling to get this one done. Bomb planted. 36 HP for CJ the King. Vulcan, no armor, full health, kit available towards the B stairs. No utility for either player, and Vulcan's going to run and tap. Does the peak come through? CJ, he knows the player has to be. He spots him out, and he takes some damage. Vulcan can grab the kit en route to finishing off CJ. Pops up on the sandbags. That's a nice little bit of outmaneuvering there from CJ, but a darn deadly round is downs need to be able to keep these rounds clean. They've struggled with it on Mirage. They're struggling with it here on Vertigo. Noxious are able to get these pistol rounds, these half buys, these broken buys, and bring something out of them. Nouns need to stop letting that happen. Dry peeking yeah. a deagle, probably not the best idea given how well it's worked so far. If there's one constancy for Noxious, it is their deagle shots. They are dastardly. They somehow get them back into rounds time and time again. And Nouns, also a little bit of an oversight there. They were kind of spread out. One player, I can't recall who, dropped by Vulcan early on over towards A, just completely separated from the rest of the squad when it was, what, a four versus two? Sounds Definitely shouldn't right. be going for lurks against pistols, let alone in a four versus two. You should be with your team. That is mm -hmm. a bit of an oversight, a bit of a... a over service overconfidence coming in from nouns that should hopefully get short up looking forward over for the time being they have at least tied it up looks far less dire than it did earlier four to one i believe was the scoreline at one point noxious though do have another chance at bat on even footing with rifles and of course that op and they start things off well cynic though finds the timing has a read drops one in response the question is can he win against the op he gets Ooh. the time he gets by cameras not expecting it and that's now the a side cracked wide open fame will try to find a trade as will vulcan sure but the advantage is secured and so much map control has been taken they will at long last on that player default but will they expect the other players pushing behind yes they will fame drops in another and swings the advantage back into the favor of the ct side but Downs still have an opportunity. These players are quite low. Fame and Vulcan both tagged down, but not taken out. And that is the critical factor. It's awkward spams back and forth, but no one falls. And so B Wills will have to take hero play. He'll go for the plant. And he will be allowed that luxury. I can't imagine he'll be allowed to exit the site. That's the end. 
important factor. There we go. Nasi takes him down. Pika Torch side has to do it all. He's found the first lit player. One on top of sight though. Will he be expected? That's Vulcan. Pika's watching for it, but the spam does not connect. He's now on 9 HP. One versus two walking forward. He doesn't get the headshot. If he did, it might be a different reality. But as it stands, it is a kill going the way of Vulcan and Noxious regaining their tenuous lead. Costly for the CT side. They will have to shuffle guns around to salvage a buy. Meanwhile, for Nouns, they don't have a lot of money either, despite the bomb plant and their recent successes. Technical pause called by Noxious, so we will be awaiting the resolving of this issue momentarily. Hopefully it's not too long here, folks. But for Nouns, I don't know, it feels like they get more comfortable against how Noxious is playing the longer the game goes on. This could hurt them significantly. We saw the slow start on map one. We see a slow start here. The longer it rolls on, the more nouns can usually find a way to get the wins. Now, Noxious have done a very good job, and individually in particular, they have been doing phenomenally. Vulcan, out of his mind right now. 15 kills and nine rounds of Counter-Strike. Cypress has been very good. Nasi had a big moment. Same with Camero. Nouns, everyone's kind of chiming in here and there. b -Wolves, three kills coming in that big clutch. But... I don't know. It, it's a very disconcerting matchup. Particularly for Nouns. And trying to read what Noxious is doing... It's not working out too well for him. It's really not. Again, it feels like some of the players just aren't on the same page here. For now, just, that's kind of my biggest takeaway. They get caught out on the wrong side of the map. Um, and Noxus, give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Especially with those deagles. We mentioned how deadly those weapons really have been thus far in the series. They came into their own in that... uh. Was it, was it two versus four? They didn't win the round in the end, but still, they found three Wundings that went unanswered. Yep. Absolutely huge. All dry wow. swings, too. Yeah, well, I, you know, when you lose a first player and you have, like, good enough spacing, you can go for the, the peak in response. I can get that. The fact that they don't get the kill immediately really does make me worried. That's really what does nearly unspiral the round there, but, of course, they do rein it back in in the end. Well, this technical pause is taking a bit longer than we would like, so we are going to go for the magical break. Hopefully that will resolve things, and when we come back, we will have the conclusion of Vertigo and Overpass if required. Stick around and stay tuned. ESL Challenge League will return right after this.
Technical well, pause has concluded, and we can get back into the game. Boggs and Pineapple Phillips on the call. Op for Noxious, no op for Nouns, and they do have AKs and a good amount of utility. It's good to see that they're able to get a buy up despite that last loss. Aggression from Noxious, countered well by Nouns. Three kills for the price of one. Stamina and company will be very happy about that. And Stamina as the in-game leader will be more than fine being the sacrifice to entry into the B site. Bomb will go down here. Fame and Vulcan on the rotations. But it's going to be up in here. Vulcan caught out by the lurking Cynic, who's all the way up the ramp, despite the bomb having gone down on the opposite side of the map. And Fame will try and save, although he is boxed in on a couple of different sides. One escape route remains for him. And that escape route being locked up quickly. Cynic will send him down the river. Sticks, not an escape you want. We're all tied at five. And Noxious, we're going to be back on the pistols. Some of the work does work out for Cynic. That's the main thing I worry about, though. Lurking over towards A. I get it. You're trying to prevent a flank from coming through, but this opens up a window for you to fall. Granted, that round was kind of already done and dusted. No chance that Noxious were going to go for it, so... It does make sense to try to drop those rifles, prevent them from coming into the round following. As you mentioned, Noxious are on pistols. As I mentioned before as well, the Deagles have been huge for this CT side. Throughout the series, Noxious have looked good with the Deagles. Nouns need to do their due diligence to prevent them from running rampant here. Good idea to boost up, take a nice headshot angle. Maybe not against the Deagle, but oh, surprise boy. factor I think is most important on this one. Two players boosted up. Surely they can take somebody down if they're on the other side, but no one is actually going to get a free B bomb site. This sets them up well for a clean post plant and potentially allow them to build a lead. I say that. Cynic pressing in middle with his teammate falls. Down to B was on his loans him to try and spray them down. He will get two, but also gets rid of even footing. It's much crappier than I would like. CJ and Carson time in for him. He's just camera. He'll do one in, but he still needs a lot more. And the AK would be decent. Nope, not allowed to do that. But still, the damage has been done far more than Nouns should be letting through. That could have been brought to a 1v1 too. That was a very nerve-wracking engagement. <laughs> and over-aggressiveness from Nouns costing them manpower once again. They need to take a little bit of a chill pill here and calm down. Yes, they are the heavy favorites. Yes, they did dominate 16 to 8 on Mirage. But do you want to give Noxious anything, any room, any breathing room, any advantage they can grab? No. You want to make this as easy as possible. And Noxious has shown a very good capacity for staying around in the game. Now, their Mirage CT side, yeah, wasn't great. Their Vertigo CT side, proving to be solid. And... If their Mirage T-side is somewhat reminiscent of their Vertigo T-side, then I think that now can find themselves in a bit of trouble. Not to get that opening kill. Instead, it's going to be CJ with a double entry. Flashbang from B. Willis blinds the player dropping down green. That's Camero. Bomb down, and Nox is probably just going to save here, although Vulcan is edging forward. I think saving the guns here much more likely to be successful for Noxious. And Fame will, at the very least, fight his way out of that. Now the hunt is on. Stamina wants to push them all the way down. Yeah, a little bit of extra cash in the coffers for Nouns. They can justify going for the hunt. As we know, Noxious are in a very difficult spot economically. And of course, Cypress, the only 50 in the bank, would be rather keen on saving this rifle. It won't allow them to force buy in the following. It won't give them a full investment in round number 13, but it will give them a little bit of extra firepower to sprinkle in with those deagles. Nouns seeming to find their ground here, Nate. Seeming to figure out how to work things against this noxious side. See that, but there's deagles coming through. We know that deagles that are their kryptonite. Yeah. The last time the deagles were out, they what? They lost everybody except for two, and it could have been very well uh, a fourth fighting the dust as well. So mm -hmm. with an M4 to complement it, this could be very scary for Nouns. They need to really do their due diligence play as a unit all up together and 
don't give Noxus the 1v1s because if you do, the deagles will shine. <laughs> and there we go. Nasi from the back of the side catches CJ going up the stairs. His player on the back of the sidewalk, though, on the scaffolding. Could very oh. well fall. No, he gets by the model and gets a kill before falling. Cynic and Stamina do find trade short, but there's the rifle I mentioned to compliment the Deagles. Cypress in towards middle wins the one versus one versus B Wills and cements an advantage. Two versus three, maybe two versus two. Stamina's chipping away, but the rifles! I was gonna say the rifle has a nice lineup, but no! Stamina has a lineup of his own! Finds the final two players and Bailey Nouns out of what was once again a very scary anti eco. Yeah, that. That's, hold on. You see three ops on Noxious, right? Yep. I'm not crazy. Nope. And this isn't even the final round. They have another round after this. If they lose the triple op setup, they're gonna have no money going into round number 15. I don't think I've ever seen a triple op setup on both the side on round 14 or ever. Uh, to get a leg shot into stamina after his four kill and clutch up there on map around 13, but I am befuddled by this four op setup. It no utility. They yeah, they have one kid or two kids, but the utility is incredibly sparse. And what possessed them to go for three ops? What we're doing, they won't know what we're doing either. I think that's the best call. And we have seen how successful the aggressive op for Camro can be. Maybe he'll go for something aggressive as well here in round number 14. Even trades, but yeah, that nade is chunky. Vulcan and Nazi both down 36 and 65 HP respectively. And the op of Vulcan just misses there. Downs are continuing to go towards A. And there's no delay utility either left for Noxious. They have one flash. Utility. And yeah, downs are equally low, but they do just have the Molotov to clear out some of these angles. That flushes out the op, but Nouns have to go. They have no more utility left. They have to make their way. Their Molotov has been spent. Vulcan can get back up on the rafters. He can peek through heaven and try and get the kill. Nashi up on jump. Trying to just bait and switch against Salmon, who is a one shot here. And Cypress, Nashi will get a couple of kills. Vulcan misses the op shot, but Nashi. I hate it here. Reward for an interesting play is what I'll say. Now, did they spot all three ops? That's my question. Because if they I did, mean, they will know to go for a fast play. They know Vulcan got an op kill and Cypress got an op kill. So logically, Camero also has an op. I guess that would work out, yeah. Unless maybe someone, you know, Bogdan's lauded, etc. Uh, but given the read of at least two ops, I would be going for going for something audacious and aggressive. Much like they did in the earlier stages of this first half. Just shock and awe. The op can't keep up. You have to rechamber after every shot. Sure, you can get one or two if you have two ops posted, but after that, they should both be falling in kind. That's not the case, though. Nouns don't have that read or don't have that determination. Instead, I'll go over a more methodical approach. Swing from Fade. A little bit overzealous. He's caught Vulcan using the distraction, though. Does find the trade, but. Four versus four, tees and Carson perfectly timed. Here's the player rotating, drops Camero, exiting the B site, and that's now the B site cracked wide open. Vulcan tries to catch the player crossing, but to no avail. It's going to be a B site take, and Noxious now has to deal with the ugly truth. Two ops going into a retake. Smoke to try and get that bomb down. Extinguishes the Molotov. Carson holding the line. Goes down to the op of Vulcan. Bomb planted. Retake on. Nashi, Nashi with one. B Wills hiding behind double stack. Trying to stay alive. He was boxed in and boxed out. Cynic with one and two. Did to the 1v1 against Nashi. Smokes the bomb, but has the shot, has the lineup. The fuse will come through, and we'll head to half two at 8 7. See you then.
tumultuous half in the start, much like the first half of map number one. Nouns, though, if the record is anything to go by, should have things better under wraps here in half number two. I'm Pineapple Phillips, joined by Boggs and Nouns on the conventionally considered easier side of Vertigo, the CT side. Double duelies for Cynic and Beagles, no kit. This is an interesting and well-made setup for what at the time is not in their favor, but they do rein things back in with four rapid kills answering the two. Carson, the final nail in the coffin. And Nouns do take the second pistol round and extend their lead to nine. They also prevent that bomb plant from coming through. That means Noxious should just be on a couple of pistols, if that, coming into the second. Uh, there's a little more than a couple. There's a few pistols. Now make it a quintet. A quartet of deagles with a soloist being that Tech 9. MP9s on a pair for nouns. M4s on the rest. Bit of utility. Again, no kit though, Nate. And the peen is growing. The CJ kill count is also expanding with that. It's a lot of damage. Carson and Zinnick coming to try and mop up the rest. Cypress with one nice shot on the deagle. Parting gift. As nouns will get to double digits first. Very strong in the first couple of rounds. Now it's time for the buy-up from Noxious. AKs on a pair. Galil for Nasi. Make it three AKs. Maybe a fourth if Vulcan wants to sacrifice utility. I would like to see Vulcan on a Galil, though. But no. Who needs utility when you could just dry rush around corners? We'll find out if Noxious can bring back their memorable Mirage experience. I would agree. Vulcan. He has been the raid boss of this map, though. He did, had a solid map number one. He really took off, though, on map number two. 19 to his name. He's going to raid boss up middle. He mentioned it walking around wide swinging. He's going to go for a contact play instead, and he's gotten a perfect time. And Cameron on the inside of the map finds one. CJ and Beagles, though, combine fire elsewhere in response. Vulcan, that lurk I mentioned before, caught out. Fame, though to make his name over towards A, finds one CJ, one for one as well. It's back and forth, it's scrappy. But now have control of the site. Here, fame one, spots the second as well. He's the hero of this round. Three kills to his name. Very well done on the entry. And it is Noxious to claw back into it, taking the first rifle round. And it's proper to force Nouns back on the half buy too. They don't really have a lot of money. So expect Deagles in armor, maybe a five, seven or two. MP9 if they want to get really frisky with it, but it's not going to be a heavy buy from the CT side. Opportunity for Noxus to bring this to within one and also grow a bit of their wait. bank and look at Vulcan. No, they've gone for the wait. investment. They went no. for a very last no. minute investment. Nouns are going for these random last second calls. There's something on the comps. We've not seen a single tactical pause in this series from them. This is very what evident is that? of one needing to come through. That's the rifle just dropped out alone by its lonesome sense of their cover one of those rifles, but Fame's already on the flank. Nouns do bring it back into a favorable situation somehow. This round has been a very weird one. They group up as well. It's looking very good for Nouns. They walk in, they spot this player, they get the kill. There we go. Carson rings it back. We were criticizing them. And in fact, we should be rightly consider uh, criticizing them, excuse me, for the last minute panic buy and just dislocated early duels. But somehow they make it work. That's something Noxious should not allow to happen. Agreed. Noxious need to be closing that one out. And it's similar to how Nouns were losing much similar buys on the other side of things to Noxious. Noxious fall victim to their own tricks. And now they're going to buy up here. Galil, AK, Tech 9, Mac 10, Deagle. Aggression from Cyprus, isolated, and that's a rifle down. A second player falls, that's the Mac 10 of Vulcan after he gets one. Nasi, though. That Deagle has a lineup. Deagle does the one, two. Not the the spray down. Camero goes wild with the second attempt, and Cynic will make him pay. Four rounds now separating these two teams and nouns from victory. Another 2-0 for them if they are able to maintain their lead and finish this one out on Vertigo. Full buyout from the CT side. Stock pistols, little upgrades for Noxious. A couple players with armor. Nouns that aggressive buy seems to be pushing them over the line here, Nate. But okay. it's again a very aggressive buy in a round where it doesn't necessarily need to be. And they got a little lucky with it. Vulcan's on another hero rifle buy. We got 700 in the bank. Covered the AK armor. 
guess he's gonna go for Goblin Mind until he's trying to find timings on this run and the following, but seems not finding very much success as of yet. Although never discount the Deagles, we keep on saying that it's the theme of this series. But if Downs take this round cleanly, 13-8, such a solid advantage to be secured, and what well, leaves now just Nasi. One versus four across the map from anything relevant. No bomb, no players to see. Might find a flank, sure, but at this point, Nouns should be wise to it. Has the makings of a very solid 13th for the CT side. and Yeah, Noxious is getting a little bit too aggressive. They're going for these investments time and time again when they really shouldn't be. It's hindering them and getting nickel and dimed out of this game as a result. Nickel and dimed, and it's okay. Another bit of damage there for Nasi, but no, not even a chance to hold a rifle in the round. CJ holding the cross, grabs the deagle. The gulf grows to five. The buy up again from Noxious. It kind of does seem like they're almost a one man show right now. Vulcan, and then there's everybody else. Even then, Vulcan's only finding one and duns on this T side, mm -hmm. he's not having the same impact. That last round, Nasi just attracted to that gun like a moth to flame. Totally blindsided. He found the kill. He got the kill. Just singularly focused. All right, run at it. Run at it. We're going for it. Uh, that player CT holding for that flank as well. Noxious, finally another chance at bat. It's been a while since we've seen the rifles in their hand. Again, lacking a bit of utility here and there, specifically on Vulcan, but they will attempt to get ram control here. Camero all by his lonesome, isolated by the Molotov and caught out with no chance for a trade. CJ damage short he's not taken down trades back and forth cypress oh. finding one famous second nouns giving them way back into it they shouldn't be doing this they shouldn't be taking these duels after they secure the advantage and here we stand noxious have the advantage in terms of manpower sure they're on low hp but this is definitely recoverable which it really shouldn't be and look at the mid angle from vulcan too a lot of map control here can catch a rotation off or could go for the backstab depending on what's more convenient Noxious, getting ready to go for the take. Creeping their way up the ramp. Well-timed flashbang from B-Wills. But Carson's left him all alone. He's gone back towards middle now. So B-Wills has a lot to do. He needs to bring this to at least a 1v1 for Carson. Which means he needs two kills. He's got the first and a big double swing him. Things are going to be difficult. But see how B-Wills just paths away from that initial take and takes a different defensible position. That's what Nouns needed to do earlier in the round. Instead of continuing that ramp fight, you get your advantage, you back away. Good made from Carson to finish. But Nouns just too aggressive in the ramp fight, putting their team into a very rough spot. And their economy still not able to grow, even though they've won a few in a row. No op either coming out for Nouns. They're stuck on the rifles. And actually, I don't disagree with it. I think given the playstyle of Noxious and how hyper-aggressive they played throughout the last two maps, and I would say this one was just about done, unless now Noxious can really turn things around here quickly. Nouns are better off without the op because it's only got five rounds. If you miss a couple of shots, you can find yourself in a world of hurt. Just like b -Wolves does right there. CJ playing around the sandbag. Over pop-up. Has two. And in comes Cynic for more. Line up. Team kill. 1v1. Nasi wins. A flurry of frags in middle. And Noxious come up on the better side of things. And Nouns are looking worse for wear in terms of economy. Now, how late do they force by into this round, Nate? I think they actually invest about one second after it starts. We'll see Carson go for that buy. Nope, he got it in two seconds before the round starts. Excuse me. And is CJ saving for up? Question mark? I guess so. Maybe extra utility. Noxious. Lucky to go with that round. It's worrying how many lineups we've seen in this game. They've all gone the way of nouns except for that final one. And even then, Noxious still lost a player. Right now. So essentially, a three person lineup. Two of them being CT, one of them being a T. Noxious, though, back to their aggressive stomping style. Two now. Still taking lots of damage though. The pistols and 
the investment. Renowns could actually find something here. Nasi finds one more, but stamina with the deal now. Scales Ford finds one. Could find the second as well. He's low as he is. And Carson scaling Ford finds one. The last two players combined 31 HP. If Nouns get these kills quickly, it could be curtains. They're on low HP, but Cypress finds the timing. Drops that player in the back lines. And that leaves just stamina now. He's found the first. He has the smoke for the defense. That doesn't go far enough. That's really what undoes if he gets the smoke down. He can go for the defuse or at least fake it. Camero, though, catches him rotating around. And so Noxious survived. But again, these rounds are so scrappy and so down to the wire. Scrappy, down to the wire, unorthodox in the end of things. And Noxious have brought it back to within four. Nouns will not be on a buy here. Just some nades and a couple of upgraded pistols. Maybe just one, that deagle on stamina. Three nades, where is this nade stack going to fly? One has gone towards ramp, or stairs, I should say. Another has gone towards B stair. The nades have done no damage. Carson, holding on to his, peeking in. A site wide open for Noxious to attack. They've made the right read. They're heading into that open site. They're going to get that bomb down momentarily. Problems very quickly arising for Nouns. So they shouldn't have much of an opportunity to even thin this economy out on the Noxious side. It's going to end here pretty... Oh, what a name. <laughs> American Nate right there. At least he doesn't take any damage from it. Yeah, that's a weird clip, too. It just kind of like gets stuck between the drywall and the scaffolding. Nice couple kills from camera, but he does go down in the end. If Nouns can grab that rifle and see, it would be very good. B-Wills try to sneak out of here with it. Takes a fight, though. Does a lot of damage to the kill. Only one kill for Nouns in the end. 11 now to Noxious. And the buy can now finally come forward from Nouns. And they will forego the op. Yes, they shall. It's full rifles. That extra utility on CJ that I mentioned before, that was what the save was for. At least that's what I'm going to say it was for. It's also for the kit, actually. No one else has a kit. You can buy full utility with the kit and have 500 left in the bank. You know what? I can say that's justified. Carson has no armor. Nate, yeah, I was about to say. Carson's glass cannon with the rifle. You know what? I'm going to say it's, it's a skill choice. Definitely not an oversight. I'm ready to see what he has planned here. Stamina open to the side hall. Is first contact. This player just gives away the fight. Doesn't even peek in the right direction. Just shows his shoulder and falls. b as well. Drops another. And this player down below is caught by the nade. This round might be over before it really begins. Though Cypress catches a player getting a little bit too big for their britches again. Nouns pressing the issue when they have the advantage. They really shouldn't be. And now Cynic might just get caught over the smoke. No, he finds a lucky timing. And b will shut down the final player towards the side hall. But again... These underlying issues that are making me worried for nouns. This game should not have been this close. No. It should not have been this close. And I'm wondering if Semphis is even here for nouns right now. Because it seems like they are lacking that extra oversight which Semphis seems to provide. That calming presence of Semphis. I mean, if you guys saw him at the RMR, man was cool as a cucumber. Showed no emotion. Until his team either won the round match or lost the match. Really good coach, Semphis. I'm liking what he's been doing with this team and dealing with the adversity that he's been dealt with pretty well. Two early picks for now, so they're still fighting ramp, although a lot more passively than they were prior. There's only one aggressive peaky. Never mind, Stamina's pushed all the way down to the bottom. Cynic and Carson come up with the last couple of kills, and that's going to be Nouns taking this series 2-0 fashion. 16-8, 16-11. And while they did have some trials, some tribulations, some very sketchy rounds, they end up taking it relatively clean in the end. And as for Noxious, there are signs of life, but they need to find a way to be able to activate individually while still playing a more structured and proper style of Counter-Strike. Yeah, it's still loose. Talking about Vulcan, he was the hero of that.